Hello, how was y'all's Thanksgiving? Yo! I said yo! Oh my gosh, no, I swore I would never say that! No! Here's a little background information about me. I am a Mexican. I was born and raised in Mexico until I was 10 years old. Then my mom took me to Seattle. That's where I learned English. And while I was in Seattle, somebody told me that somewhere in Texas, people wore cowboy boots and hats. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're kidding. People are wearing cowboy boots and hats? Because in my mind, if people could dress up as cowboys, well then they could also dress up as pirates or gypsies. I would make a nice gypsy. Anyway, Thanksgiving, I, uh, <coughs> Bought most of my food, but I did make a pie. I remember that. So it's the day before Thanksgiving and I actually tried a low protein pumpkin pie. I mean, no, I didn't try it. I tried to make it. And this Thanksgiving will be the very first Thanksgiving that Katie will ever try a pumpkin pie like ever. I have built this moment up in my head. I'm like super excited. I can't wait for her to taste her very first pumpkin pie, and I am going to record it. I know it sounds like no big deal, yeah, pumpkin pie, but you have to understand, I have to make a pie without flour and without eggs and without milk. Now these are the things that make cohesiveness. It makes things stick together, not crumble, not fall apart. Protein, when it is uh, heated up, it solidifies or gels and it kind of fuses things together. I made the crust, which is not going to be so impressive, okay? But it is impressive, very impressive. When you consider the fact that I was trying to mold something that has a consistency of mashed potatoes. So it just falls apart. So I'm just like pushing it with my fingers like this. I got the recipe off of Cambrook Foods. Okay, I started to look one up at Cook for Love. Dot org, but there were a couple ingredients that I couldn't find and so uh, I went ahead and went with Cambrook's foods, but I love you both! I got a low protein mix. Low protein all purpose baking mix. Spanish. Preparado panificable con bajo contenido en proteínas. It's very, very white. Ah! The bag is white, but if you look inside, I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna make a mess. I, I'm doing it for you. You better appreciate it. It's really, really white. Oh, and it's super powdery like cornstarch. So, uh, you know, it sticks to everything. Wheat starch which is also very, very white, just like the low protein mix. I don't know if I wanna make a mess again. It's really white. White and powdery, like chalky, I guess. It, it just makes, it's dusty, you know, like. I mix those two with Crisco and some water, and then I mixed it up and I made the crust. I had a can of pumpkin, and then I added some pudding and some spices. Then it was like a cup and a quarter of non-dairy coffee creamer. Like, Coffee Mate has no milk in it. Absolutely no milk. If you thought you were eating something natural, no man, you're totally having something synthetic. But hey, it works for Katie and it gives us an option. I put it in the blender and then I filled the pie shell and I put it to bake. Ta-da! Low protein pumpkin pie. It smells good. Look, Katie, this is your pie. Mm. Mm. You wanna eat? Yeah. Pie. Mmm, pie. Look. Smell it. Touch it. It's a pie. Her eyes being open. Thanksgiving was great success. I just put up the Christmas tree. What happened? Where'd you get that from? Me. You took it off the tree. You need, you need to put it back on the tree. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'll hold it. I plan to make some PKU Christmas recipes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Katie will be here to review them. Oh, yeah. She will. Bye! Bye.